uh, some slide. So I'd like to uh, uh, the present from my computer. All right, is that okay? Yeah, yes, Ken, uh, tell your question again, please. Yeah, so I'd like to uh, share uh, my slide uh, from the, my PC. Oh, Is you would like to share okay. your screen? Yeah, okay. share it Okay. Yes, you can. Mm. So, uh, there are some uh, uh, the correction the, after the I sent you the, uh, the my fright. Hi, okay. Okay, once I, I stopped my share, the sharing my slide. Итак, добрый день, уважаемые коллеги. Спасибо большое за присутствие на нашем замечательном вебинаре. Сегодняшний вебинар будет посвящен такой а, трудной и, а, скажем так, вызывающей с точки зрения а, медицины и онкологии проблеме. А, он будет посвящен лечению рака пищевода. И а, профессор Кен Ката из а, Токио а, расскажет нам о новых достижениях в лечении рака пищевода, о которых мы смогли бы узнать в 2020 году. мы можем начинать okay uh, so thank you for the, uh, the presenting me and in the, uh, thank you for the inviting me uh, for the, this webinar conference so it is an honor for me uh, to be here and it, uh, it is a very nice thing to connect up uh, here uh, the internet uh, despite all the this uh, different situation. So, uh, I'm a Ken Kato from National Cancer Center Hospital Tokyo, and my talk is about the novel approaches in systemic therapy for esophageal cancer. So, okay, all right. Hey, Merry Christmas. This is my COI. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the novel chemotherapy for esophageal squamous cell carcinoma and the adenocarcinoma was uh, uh, the arised in the recent uh, years for the metastatic and the recurrence uh, esophageal carcinoma. The attraction trials and the keynote trials and the checkmate trials were uh, have been conducted for the esophageal cancer. And the, the recent reader, uh, the the, uh, the clinical trial for the local advanced cases were uh, being conducted. And in, uh, this year, uh, the in the uh, SMO meeting, uh, the, the result of the checkmate 599, uh, 577 was uh, uh, presented. Okay. And uh, from the uh, 2000, we have only the, um, the uh, rare, uh, number of the chemotherapy drug for the esophageal cancer. In Japan, the, we have uh, only five FE and the platinum agent for uh, the, the treatment of the esophageal cancer. In uh, 2004, uh, the docetaxel was approved for the esophageal cancer, and the pacrolitaxel was approved uh, 2012. We did uh, uh, the no, uh, we have no uh, targeted drug and it had no immunotherapy uh, during the, uh, the decades. And the oxaliplatin was uh, uh, the inverse the 2019 in Japan. But it, uh, uh, finally, the, we have uh, the Ibromav and the pembrolizum for the esophageal cancer uh, and this year. According to the NCCN guidelines, Mm, the pastoral therapy for the esophageal cancer is uh, 
the cytotoxic drug uh, agent uh, preferred uh, uh, lower toxicity to drug, uh, the, mainly the plasium plus uh, fluoropigmin as a uh, uh, standard. The, the three drug side uh, regime was uh, uh, evaluated in the phase three trial and did uh, uh, improve the, uh, the survival, but did uh, uh, the toxic, uh, slightly toxic for the patient. So the usually the uh, plasium doublet is a standard for the uh, the SYR cancer. And for the second line, depend on the prior uh, therapy and the PES and the preferred regime were uh, described as a desdosetaxel and pacritaxel are in the uh, From the SMA practical guideline, and, uh, uh, for the squamous cell carcinoma, the first line, uh, for the first line therapy, best for supportive care or uh, palliative monotherapy were recommended because uh, uh, the patient has a uh, poor performance status and there is a rarely uh, the, uh, the cytotoxic agent which was proven for the benefit. So we have a, a very rare uh, candidate for the chem chemotherapy agent for the SYGR cancer uh, for the decade. And the, the, before the 2020, the treatment algorithms for the stage four and the recurrence uh, spiral cancer in Japan, the first line uh, as a five FU and six patch as a first line, and taxan as a second line, and the no cells line um, uh, uh, chemotherapy agent, and the five year survival is a very very low. And the, the, some of the attempt to uh, evaluate the target agent and the, the molecular uh, analysis was uh, held, uh, even for the esophageal cancer. And the, from the some reports shows, uh, uh, the, for example, the cyclin D1 amplification and the EGFR amplification and the fixed CCA uh, mutation uh, was uh, the C in the sum of the Spargal or squamous cell carcinoma. And the some attempt to evaluate the molecular targeted drug for the uh, Spargal squamous cell carcinoma was uh, conducted. Uh, for example, the uh, phase two trial of the BKM120, uh, uh, the uh, PIX3CA inhibitor. Uh, for the Spagia Scamma Circulation was held, but did uh, uh, only the 4.8 of the um, partial response, and the, uh, the disease control rate was uh, uh, around 50%. But did the uh, median pollution free survival was 2.3, and uh, there's no driver response cases. And in other cases, uh, also shows uh, uh, modest activity of the targeted drugs for the Spargel Scamma cell carcinoma, and they mainly failed. Uh, but recently, the immune therapy was uh, has been developed uh, for the melanoma and lung uh, cancer, and the stomach cancer, and the, and the next one, Scamma cell carcinoma. And this, this Mm, uh, shows uh, uh, the somatic mutation frequency is uh, uh, high in the ESCC. So that means the ESCC uh, have a uh, uh, higher uh, immunogenicity and it, uh, uh, the immune checkpoint inhibitor may affect even for the Spagal smartphones carcinoma. And the nivolumab was the PD-1 uh, inhibitor, and the, uh, the nivolumab inhibits the PD-1 pathway and the enhances the efficacy of the uh, cytotoxic C, uh, T cell, as you know. In the attraction one trial, uh, which is the phase two trial for the Spagas Kama carcinoma as a salvage line, was uh, conducted in Japan, and the 24 patient was enrolled for this uh, trial. And it, uh, uh, more patient had the, the uh, more than uh, three uh, prior regimen, 
but did uh, uh, the 20% of the patient achieve the partial response and the uh, complete response. And the uh, median survival time was uh, uh, shown as a 10.78 months. And did, uh, some patient uh, getting a durable response uh, for, for years. So this shows uh, the number of mouth uh, have a efficacy for even for the ESCC, same as the, the lankia cell as a melanoma. So, and in attraction three trial was conducted to evaluate the uh, survival benefit of the nivolumab over uh, paclitaxel and the docetaxel at the second line treatment. The patient who failed for the first line chemotherapy was enrolled to the, this trial. And the primary endpoint was uh, overall survival and the, the, uh, the superiority of the nivoro. And the, the primary point of the overall survival, the median survival of the nivoro was 10.9 uh, and the uh, chemotherapy for 8.4. And the hazard ratio was 0 0.77 and the uh, nivoro shows uh, uh, statistically significant on uh, survival over uh, chemotherapy. But it, uh, uh, there is uh, no uh, differences uh, between the two arms on the progression-free survival. Uh, the, more than half of the patient failed at the, the first evaluation uh, after the administration of the nivolumab. But did, uh, some patient uh, get achieved the natural response and the, uh, the survival curve was uh, crossed. So this is the baseline characteristics. In the, uh, the uh, 200 patient was enrolled for the, this trial. And the most of the patient from Asian countries, uh, Japan and Korea and the Taiwan. And the progress uh, PD balance question uh, was uh, similar in both arms. And the, the overall survival, as uh, I already mentioned. And the response, was uh, similar uh, into uh, the both arm, uh, but the uh, uh, disease control rate is higher in the chemotherapy arm. But the, uh, uh, the patient who achieved the response uh, had the durable response compared to the chemotherapy. The median uh, duration of the response was uh, 6.9 for nivolumab and 3.9 for chemotherapy arm. And the some sequence therapy was different from t, uh, the two arms. The taxon was uh, more frequently administered uh, in the uh, nivolumab arm after the failure for nivolumab. Uh, but the immunotherapy was uh, only 6% uh, administered for the uh, chemotherapy arm after the failure for uh, chemotherapy arm. So that means Mm, uh, this, I may, that may explain about the, the diff, uh, discordance of that uh, progression free survival and the overall survival. And in the nivolumab, the uh, nivolumab and the, uh, the uh, taxans as a uh, uh, post therapy may affect uh, and the prolong the overall survival. So uh, I think uh, it is very important to uh, the change the, uh, chemo, uh, the chemotherapy uh, just after the uh, progression uh, in the nivolumab arm. So uh, in attraction three trials, uh, they, uh, we conclude that nivolumab uh, demonstrated uh, a significant overall survival and it represents a new standard second uh, treatment option for patient with advanced ESCC patient. And in this uh, February, and uh, the uh, Japanese uh, the PMD and the, the US FDA approved the nivolumab for the ESCC patient regardless of biomarker. And pain shows a, a similar effect, effect, efficacy for the ESCC. Uh, the efficacy of the uh, pembrolizumab is uh, less uh, effective for, for uh, adenocarcinoma uh, patient. The response rate is uh, similar in the ESCC arm uh, with nivolumab. And the, the Keynote 181 uh, trial 
the evaluate for the survival of the pembrolizumab or what a fagritaxel or cetaxel you can. This uh, trial containing the uh, ESCC patient and the other carcinoma patient, and it uh, just has uh, three primary endpoints. The one is uh, uh, the uh, population of in, including of the PDL1 CPS10 patient, and the second is uh, ESCC patient, and the, the third is a, a total uh, patient. First, uh, okay, first. They show the positive um, effect on the CPS 10 over 10 population, but the, the negative uh, survival benefit statistically in the ESCC population. And the, of course, the total population. But uh, after the adding analysis, because uh, they uh, failed to the uh, two patients, two subjects of the event uh, as a census, but the uh, Actually, the two uh, patients uh, get uh, evented. So the reanalysis uh, shows a negative, a turn to the negative, in, uh, even in the CPS 10 patient. But the, uh, the MST uh, presented uh, uh, the ad hoc analysis inside the, in, in uh, the CPS 10 and the ESCC patient. And finally, the FDA and the Japanese PMDA approved uh, for the pembrolizumab for the patient with CPS over 10 and ESC, uh, as far as gamma calcium patient. So in Japan, um, now uh, the pembrolizumab was uh, uh, approved uh, uh, in September. So we have a uh, two. Uh, uh, MJ post in fifth and the second right. But the uh, pembrolizumab was uh, restricted for the patient with uh, CPS 10. Okay, okay so the uh, MJ point in hip is also uh, evaluated in the, uh, the first line of the esophageal uh, carcinoma. And the keynote 590 was evaluated in the esophageal comma cell carcinoma and the other carcinoma. And if, uh, compared to the, uh, the uh, standard of care of the 5 fs esparagine plus minus pembrolizumab. And the checkmate 648 trial uh, compared to the uh, standard uh, 5 fs esparagine as a standard. And the 5 fs plus esparagine plus nivolumab and the uh, IOIO combination uh, nivolumab plus epilimumab. And the BGB is a Beijing company is from China, and also evaluated in the ESCC patient. And five FU and cisplatin plus minus is reasonable for the first line uh, chemotherapy. And the checkmate 648 and the uh, rationalis 306 trial is now ongoing. And this is small, the keynote 59, the result of the keynote 59. Uh, was uh, reported. And the uh, Kino uh, 590 uh, was presented in the presidential session. And this uh, is a, uh, the patient background. The, the, um, half of the patient from Asian country and the more than 70 patient had the scamma cell carcinoma. And the uh, the half of the patient had the CPS over 10. And the, the, oh, the half of the patient received the 5 uh, fns cisplatin plus paracetamol, and half of the patient received the 5 fns cisplatin plus pembrolizumab. And also, uh, this trial had uh, uh, many uh, primary endpoints. And the, the, so many analysis was uh, done. The first read uh, is CC plus CPS 10 patient, uh, maybe the most uh, uh, good uh, sample group. It shows uh, uh, the hazard ratio of the 0 0.59, uh, 57, and uh, shows a statistical significant. The median survival time of the uh, 5 FU uh, uh, cisplatin plus pembro arm shows a uh, uh, 13.9 months, amazingly. And the, the overall survival in the ESCC. 
shows a trail point six months and it also has a ratio as a 0.72 and is statistically significant. And also in the CPS 10 population and even in the uh, total population, including the adenocarcinoma, shows a survival benefit uh, statistically in the Pembro plus chem arm. And in the, uh, the post uh, progression treatment is a very, very, uh, I, uh, IO was uh, administered very low frequently in both arm. In the subgroup analysis in uh, overall survival and the pain pro, uh, pro, uh, progression free survival. So, uh, the, along with the former trial, the Asian subgroup is uh, uh, better. Uh, hazard ratio in the overall survival than the progression free survival. And uh, it is a, a very, very impressive and exciting result because uh, adenocarcinoma uh, is the same, had the same hazard ratio as the ESCC. Because the uh, uh, Keynote 181 trial, the adenocarcinoma uh, had a lower efficacy uh, magnitude of the uh, adding effect of the, uh, the pembrolizumab. But in, uh, in this trial, the chemotherapy plus minus uh, uh, the uh, immuno checkpoint inhibitor shows a similar uh, hazard ratio in the adenocarcinoma. And of course, the CPS uh, over 10 population had a great um, hazard ratio. And it, uh, uh, we uh, conclude the pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy uh, would be the standard care for the first line. Uh, esophagus scar muscular carcinoma, not only the uh, esophagus scar muscular carcinoma, but the uh, adenocarcinoma. So the algorithm has dramatically changed year by year. And uh, maybe the next year, the 5 fu cisplatin plus pembrolizumab uh, would be the uh, standard of care of the first line. And second line is a taxan, the no third line. And the uh, nivolumab and the pembrolizumab monotherapy mm, is uh, uh, not the standard, but the limited uh, the usage for the fagal scamaster carcinoma. Uh, for example, the, the patient who received the neo adjuvant chemotherapy in surgery and in the record within the six months is uh, maybe the candidate for the uh, nivolumab monotherapy as a secondary treatment. So now the uh, the summer clinical trial for the to enhance the uh, checkpoint uh, uh, checkpoint inhibitor uh, monotherapy. For example, the NIMBO EP was evaluated in the first line treatment in the checkmate uh, six four eight trial, and the NIMBO Lego as a second line, and the PEMBO Remember as a first line and the second line, and the Belmar plus TIGIT antibody was evaluated for the uh, patient uh, after the chemoradiotherapy and the, the Pembro plus uh, FGFR inhibitor uh, was evaluated in the second and third line. So, uh, so some development will, will be uh, occurred in the nearby future. And the, uh, I will move to the local adverse cases. Uh, for example, the, for the stage 1B and the 2, 3 uh, patient, uh, so mainly the candidate for the neo adjuvant chemotherapy or chemoradiotherapy uh, followed by surgery. And some patient who refuse a chemo, uh, who refuse a surgery or are unfit for the surgery uh, is a candidate for the chemoradiotherapy uh, with a definitive dose. And the, the, uh, for the patient who received this underwent the surgery and the neo adjuvant came after the neo adjuvant chemotherapy uh, and it, uh, uh, getting not not uh, pathological uh, complete response cases uh, enrolled to the checkpoint 5977 study and it uh, assigned to the nivolumab arm for one year and the placebo one year uh, to to one uh, ratio uh, manner. And the, the result of the checkpoint 5977 trial was uh, also uh, presented in the presidential session and the SMO meeting. In this uh, trial, the 
Now, the location of patient was uh, 70, and the 30 percent of the patient was a scamma cell calcium. The, uh, the patient from Asian country is a very, very low. And this is a primary analysis uh, of the checkmate 577 trial. The disease free survival shows uh, uh, the uh, severity of the nivolumab over the placebo arm with a 0.69 of the hazard ratio. And the, the median disease free survival was uh, 22.44 nivolumab and the 11.04 placebo arm. And this is a sub, uh, the, uh, the first approved in survival. Uh, the subgroup analysis of the check by 577. Then this shows us the better hazard ratio in the scamma cell carcinoma. Uh, the number of the patient of the scamma cell carcinoma is very, very low, but this shows uh, more benefit was seen, may, uh, seen, uh, may be seen in the scamma cell carcinoma patient. So uh, this result represented uh, uh, that one year of the advanced nivolumab is uh, standard care uh, after uh, the surgery, uh, uh, the, the patient who underwent the surgery after the neoadjuvant chemoradio therapy. So this, the, uh, the algorithm is also changes. But did, uh, there some critical questions allowed it. And uh, this uh, trial is uh, including the radiotherapy. The, when the radiotherapy did not do in the neoadjuvant therapy, because uh, in Japan, the neoadjuvant uh, chemotherapy is a standard uh, care for, uh, for this patient. And it does adjuvant development work, same as the neo -chemo uh, radiotherapy. So there is no evidence. And recently, for the, uh, the, the receptor of adenocarcinoma of the gastric and the EGJ junction of carcinoma, uh, for the four, uh, it be the standard care uh, uh, from the result of the FROT4 AIO trial. And the uh, SBIC trial is, uh, has uh, an ongoing to evaluate the, uh, the neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy and uh, Brought four. So the uh, the standard care of the uh, for the adenocarcinoma of the EGG junction moved to from the chemoradiotherapy uh, to the uh, pay uh, operative uh, chemotherapy. In Japan, uh, in, for the uh, the JCO one one zero nine trial was conducted for the SPIR scamma cell carcinoma. The compared to the our standard of care, the so neo adjuvant 5 a cisplatin, and to the DCF triplet measurement and neo adjuvant uh, chemoradio therapy, the result of the JCO one one eleven nine will be uh, held the next year. And the, uh, if the neo adjuvant chemoradio therapy uh, be uh, like the, the new standard. The, uh, the evidence of the checkmate uh, 577 would be uh, available uh, simply. But if the neoadjuvant DCF uh, come to the new standard of care, uh, I think it, it would be the uh, need um, some uh, evidence for uh, the, as the liberal model as the adjuvant uh, therapy. And recently, uh, the neoadjuvant uh, immunotherapy uh, have uh, a good uh, result in the, uh, the uh, lung cancer. And uh, from the uh, in vivo trial, the neoadjuvant immunotherapy shows a better efficacy compared to the adjuvant uh, uh, immunotherapy. So memory T cell was uh, more activated in the neoadjuvant immunotherapy. So uh, in JCO in Japan, clinical oncology group uh, have conducted the uh, uh, phase one trial, volunteer trial, and neoadjuvant came plus neuromorph for the UCC patient. And uh, the each for each arm, six 
a patient was enrolled and they evaluated the uh, uh, efficacy and the adverse event after the surgery. Okay. So um, if the uh, new adjuvant nevo uh, chemo was uh, promising, uh, we uh, move to the evaluated the peri, uh, the immune uh, checkpoint inhibitor uh, for the resectable cases. And even for the uh, chemo radiotherapy, uh, the immune checkpoint inhibitor was uh, uh, being evaluated. And our uh, standard of care is uh, 5 f plus uh, radiotherapy at the dose of the 50.4 grade. Indeed, after the failure for the chemoradiotherapy, the salvage surgery and the salvage EMR was uh, uh, conducted. And you know, as you know, the uh, radiotherapy enhanced the effect, uh, efficacy of the immune checkpoint inhibitor. The, from the result of the um, uh, non small cell lung cancer, the rubber mouth after the uh, definitive chemoradiotherapy enhanced the uh, fraction free survival and the overall survival. And the, in uh, the ESCC, the some uh, the clinical trial was conducted. Uh, the fact that batizolizumab uh, after the administration of the chemoradiotherapy and the pembrolizumab is uh, uh, concurrent uh, recombined with uh, FP radiation or Fox radiation. And the uh, nebulomas was uh, uh, developed to concurrent and after uh, chemoradiotherapy. Yeah. So I'd like to conclude my presentation. The image checkpoint uh, inhibitor might be the standard cure for the first line, the second line uh, therapy for the uh, ESCC and the esophageal uh, adenocarcinoma patient. And the further investigation, uh, for the local endogenous case was uh, be ongoing and it, maybe the, some uh, progression will be uh, calm uh, nearby future. Okay, thank you for attention. The spasiba and Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Ken, большое спасибо за ваш доклад. Он был очень интересный, и в, в ходе доклада у меня возникло несколько вопросов. А, они имеют, наверное, чисто практический характер, а, но тем не менее хотелось бы получить ваше мнение как специалиста с большим опытом. А, и первый мой вопрос, а, он, наверное, касается ваших а, особенностей лечения непосредственно в Японии. А, скажите, пожалуйста, почему лучевая терапия а, в некоторых случаях не является стандартом лечения у при местно распространенном плоскоклеточном раке пищевода. Okay, good, very good question. So, uh, may, may, I, may I give a cake? Uh, okay. okay, so uh, first is uh, the, uh, the surgical procedure is uh, different from the uh, Western country and the uh, the, uh, the Asian country, and also the patient uh, background is uh, different from the Asian country. So the uh, the Asian patient has a lower uh, body weight and the small, uh, but in the Western countries, uh, especially in the adenocarcinoma patient, had a very very huge uh, and the body weight. Uh, and uh, in the Japanese surgeon do the uh, radical uh, dissection even for the upper medial standard uh, area. And the, uh, the average, the default uh, number of uh, the, cor uh, the correcting is more than um, 50, 50 to the 100. Uh, the uh, default was uh, uh, the, uh, corrected in the surgical procedure. So we think the local control is uh, achieved from the radical surgery. So the radiation procedure is uh, mm, the less 
uh, have less magnitude to local control. And the, uh, the surgeon did not like uh, that receive the uh, radiotherapy before surgery because uh, uh, some adhesion in the, the surgical procedure, the radiation makes the surgical procedure uh, dif difficult in the, the uh, prolonged the, uh, surgical time. And then maybe the, sometimes the, the anastomotic leak or uh, some uh, 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 the adverse event is arises by the radiation. So uh, the, we conducted the, the, uh, the triplet chemotherapy regimen. And the, the, because the local control is a, uh, better by the uh, surgical procedure. So we increase the systemic um, chemotherapy by the triplet regimen. So uh, we are waiting for the result of the JCOG. Uh, 11, nine patient uh, trial. So that's my answer. Тогда у меня следующий вопрос связи с этим. Скажите, пожалуйста, отличаются ли как-то результаты хирургического лечения у пациентов с аденокарциномой и плоскоклеточным раком пищевода? Конкретно в Японии. Yeah, uh, actually, the, in Japan, even in Japan, the, uh, uh, the surgical procedure for the esophagus camas is uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, former, former, former. <laughs> but in, uh, uh, the, in Japan, the, there is a rare case uh, of the adeno uh, carcinoma of the esophageal cancer. The most of the uh, the patient of the adeno carcinoma, the esophageal gastric uh, junctional carcinoma, uh, was treated as a gastric cancer. And the, the surgical procedure is different. Uh, and the, from the the adeno, uh, GJ adeno carcinoma and the scama carcinoma because the uh, distribution of the lymphonode metastasis was uh, uh, different. Uh, the most of the cases of the esophageal scama carcinoma located in the middle of the um, esophagus, but in the most of the adeno carcinoma located in the lower case. So the, the lymphonode metastasis of the uh, upper mediastinal area is the different form the adeno carcinoma, the scar muscular carcinoma. And the, uh, the surgical procedure is uh, un, un, unlimited, unformed. And for the uh, patient with uh, uh, adeno carcinoma, so esophagus. So of course the surgical procedure is very, very uh, important for the patient, uh, uh, both the adeno carcinoma and the scar muscular carcinoma. But in, the, uh, in my feeling, the, uh, there is a less very shallow in uh, the local tumor patient. Sorry, I'm, I'm not surgeon. <laughs> uh, я, кстати, тоже не хирург, поэтому мы друг друга поймем. Если можно, Кен, у меня еще один вопрос есть. Скажите, пожалуйста, ваше личное мнение меня интересует. У тех пациентов, которые все-таки получали химиолучевую терапию по поводу рака, плоскоклеточного рака, и у них наблюдалась полная регрессия опухоли после проведения лучевой терапии. Вот как вы считаете, нужно ли оперировать таких пациентов или нам нужно их наблюдать? Yeah, uh, in my opinion, uh, it should not be uh, received that uh, surgical procedure. So, uh, because uh, uh, the, the, after the, uh, the neoadjuvant chemotherapy, 
40% of the patients achieve the complete response. And in the most of the patient uh, get the, uh, achieve the, the uh, durable response. But it, uh, uh, it is a very difficult to uh, evaluate the complete response of the, uh, the, uh, the after the chemoradial therapy. So because uh, the societies or uh, something that uh, uh, the occult occult uh, the cancer under the membrane has exist. So uh, we should uh, the carefully uh, 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 carefully uh, continue the surveillance after uh, after the chemoradio therapy if we do not do the uh, surgery. So as you know, the uh, in the, uh, the European countries there is some uh, clinical trial to evaluate it. Uh, uh, surgical uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy followed by surgery and the neoadjuvant chemotherapy followed by active surveillance. So, and the, recently we conducted the, the chemo selection um, trial uh, because of the, in our clinical practice uh, of the standard is the neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, I think the, uh, the patient who, res uh, who respond to the, uh, the chemotherapy also had to respond to the chemoradio therapy. And after the three course, uh, two course of the uh, DCF trial, DCF regimen, if the patient uh, it achieves it a, a good uh, uh, partial response, move to the chemoradio uh, therapy, not the surgery. The, the, uh, the result of the, this trial will be held the next year, but it, uh, uh, the most of the patient uh, had the uh, clinical uh, uh, complete response uh, after the chemoradio therapy. So uh, it is a good uh, strategy to evaluate the efficacy, uh, the response to the chemo uh, uh, chemoradio therapy by the uh, chemotherapy before the, uh, the chemoradio therapy. So that that means the chemo or chemo we we call the chemo selection strategy. Okay, <laughs> do you understand? Okay. Очень интересно. Будем ждать результатов uh, вашего исследования. И тогда, если можно, у меня следующий вопрос. Uh, вы говорили о том, что необходимо uh, тщательное наблюдение за данными пациентами. Ну и вот мой вопрос и про тщательное наблюдение, и про наблюдение динамики болезни а, вообще при раке пищевода. Что вы предпочитаете а, для оценки динамики болезни? Это стандартная компьютерная томография или, может быть, вы используете ПЭТ-КТ? Yeah, uh, for surveillance because uh, uh, the, at the, the case of the recurrence uh, or residual uh, uh, disease, the first, the, uh, the change was uh, seen in the uh, endoscopic uh, findings. The, um, the, <laughs> the growing, growing up of the tumor, uh, under the membrane, as I see uh, in the primary side. And uh, in that case, uh, we do PET scan. But in the, uh, uh, the usually we use the endoscopy and the CT every three months for the first year, and the every four months and the second year, and every six year and after the three years. And if the, something changes as uh, the revealed, uh, at the CT and the, uh, the endoscopic findings uh, that we check by the PET scan. That's all. Большое спасибо. Тогда я задам свой последний вопрос. Извините, что у меня их так много, но вы очень интересно рассказываете, и ваш опыт уникален. 
Если мы возьмем во внимание категорию пациентов, которые в качестве первой линии лечения метастатического рака пищевода получали химиотерапию вместе с иммунной терапией, а во второй линии получали токсаны. И, допустим, у них прогрессирование болезни на токсанах, и они все еще могут получать терапию, их общее состояние соматическое позволяет проводить химиотерапию. Что бы вы выбрали в качестве третьей линии лечения у таких пациентов? The, the rechange of the immunotherapy is a candidate. And the, the, from the melanoma and the and, uh, non small cell lung cancer, the, some patients uh, had the, the response to the uh, rechange of the immunotherapy after failure for the former uh, immunotherapy. And uh, from the melanoma and the, the uh, renal cell function. But in, uh, from the, uh, the case, Report of the non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, no, no uh, efficacy was reported. So uh, maybe the uh, that depends on the the uh, patient condition and the immunogenicity of the uh, the each tumor. So uh, we should evaluate um, the efficacy of uh, the uh, the, uh, the the change of the immunosuppression. And now, so uh, the. The other candidate is a combination of the immune plus uh, targeted drug. Now, the summer combination of the nivolum IO plus uh, anti VGF uh, uh, TKI and the IO plus uh, FGFR uh, inhibitor. The some target drug uh, may enhance the efficacy of the immunotherapy. So, we don't know the The, uh, the efficacy of the uh, for the, uh, the, uh, the resistance cases of the immunotherapy, but uh, uh, if the, the good results will come, um, uh, it is one of the candidates for the uh, combination therapy, immunotherapy plus uh, targeted therapy. And of course, the radiotherapy is a uh, uh, very, very good candidate for the assault right chemo uh, chemo uh, for the summer region is a, a candidate for uh, the a treatment as a sad right chemotherapy. I think скажите, а вот вообще в вашей практике возможно ли проведение третьей линии? Вот какая какова специфика именно вашей японской локальной, да, то есть Позволяют ли там, условия здравоохранения проводить третью, третью линию лечения таким пациентам? Есть ли возможности и как бы что для этого нужно? Yeah, uh, we can use the uh, for Fox uh, for the, the esophageal cancer and the S1, TS1 is the uh, Uh, the oral floral PGV drug uh, that mostly used for the gastric cancer and the, the colorectal cancer uh, can be used uh, for the uh, spiral cancer. And in some cases, we use the Porfox plus radiation or Porfox uh, for for only, and the some monotherapy for the uh, the side right. Uh, chemotherapy for the patient have a good condition. And uh, if uh, 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 they can enroll to the uh, clinical trial, uh, uh, we uh, the propose for the patient to enroll to the, uh, join the clinical trial. So uh, uh, that's, that's a that's case. That's the pain the cases. Okay. In, only in Japan. Ну что ж, спасибо большое, Кен. Я, наверное, больше не буду задавать вам вопросы.
Было очень интересно. Евгений, добрый день. У меня вопрос. Меня слышно? Я, одну секундочку, извините. Далее. Да. Спасибо большое за вашу прекрасную okay. презентацию. У меня такой вопрос. Вы сказали, что одно из будущих направлений – это комбинация иммунотерапии с ингибиторами FGFR. Какие это ингибиторы? Это рецептор первого типа FGFR1, либо рецептор FGFR2. Что это за препараты? Yeah, I mentioned about the BGF uh, uh, TKI, regular or lematin, uh, not only for the inhibitor for the BGFR1 and the BGFR2, but I have experience of the uh, uh, the combination therapy of the nivolumab one plus uh, the ramosimab, the BGFR2 less, uh, the antibody that's also effective for Uh, the, and the uh, damage uh, also arises the presence of the immunomorph in the gastric cancer. And uh, maybe that both is uh, better, and the, of course, the only one, uh, BGR1 inhibitor, it may be effective uh, as a combination with the uh, checkpoint inhibitor. Thank And the, the, the new question was from the chat. Да, спасибо большое. Кен, я зачитаю вопрос. Что, что бы вы использовали в качестве первой линии лечения при прогрессировании рака пищевода у пациентов, которые получали а, иммунотерапию, в частности, неволумаб, в качестве адевантной терапии. Yeah, that is the new critical question uh, from the result of the five seven seven trial. So maybe that does depend on the uh, the period of the the last dose of the neural one to the uh, recurrence. And, uh, that is not scientific evidence, but it, uh, uh, maybe that uh, more than six months uh, is uh, uh, the period is, uh, from the, the last dose of the neural one to the recurrence was uh, seen. And so maybe the the uh, change of the uh, chemoplas uh, in checkpoint inhibitor, pembrolizumab, uh, will be the candidate, first line candidate, first candidate of the, uh, the chemotherapy. But the, uh, uh, the recurrence uh, that's seen during the uh, adjuvant neuronal or uh, the less than five months um, of the last dose of neuronal, it would be uh, considered as uh, uh, are your recurrence cases. So um, uh, I, I think um, uh, I will uh, give the first line chemotherapy as a result uh, of embolisma. And the, uh, uh, we, I, I conducted the, uh, the, the image checkpoint inhibitor in the third line setting. No, no scientific evidence is okay. So it's only my uh, impression. Уважаемые слушатели, есть ли у кого-то еще вопросы?
Кен, поскольку вопросов больше нет, я хотел бы вас поблагодарить за очень интересный доклад, за новые научные данные. Было очень приятно с вами пообщаться. И, как, как говорится, уригато. Спасибо. Вас также с Новым годом. Okay. Thank you very much. Спасибо. До новых встреч. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello.